What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary Jamez, and we back right here. Episode 5 of Fix the Cavs, my league series over here on NBA 2K20. And right here, here's a little recap of what has happened since we played the Pels. As you see right here, we did pull off a close win up against the Bucks. Um, but as you can see here, there's no Giannis, so uh, that definitely helped us get that dub. As well as Monty Terry doing pretty solid, calling 16 with 16 and 7. Larry Nance doing all right off the bench as well. So, uh, and... As you see right here, a whole bunch of L's. <laughs> whole bunch of L's. So it's tank season again. Uh, is what it is. Uh, yeah. It's uh, definitely just going to be trying to see who we could uh, build off of for next year. And see where we go with it. Right here, we are heading into the trade finder right here. I am looking to trade Dante Exum. He's really just sitting on the bench, not really doing much for us. Like, he's getting zero minutes because, I mean, I could start him, but I decided to go Billy Hawkins, our second round pick right there. That way he can get some badge progression and uh, improve his, uh, just progress more. Get that defense up, that three ball up possibly. Right here, I was looking for a trade that I found like a week before in, in the sim for uh, Jeremiah Grant. Whoops, hit that. Jeremiah Grant and um, Terrence Davis. Yeah, right? I think that was the name. Yep, Terrence Davis. Shooting guard, 23. Um, I liked how young he was. Uh, you'll see right here his stats real quick. Uh, and right before they were offering this trade, this trade straight up, but they took him out and put someone else in. So I was seeing if I could finesse it, see if we get him. He got some good shooting, good uh, three ball, solid, decent playmaking, uh, decent, solid above average defense so uh, I was trying to get him both younger uh, Grant could do a little more and uh, right here as you see am I gonna do it I was trying to do a live com I forgot to do the uh, to turn the music off I wasn't trying to get copyrighted but you see right there they want a first round pick out of it and another second and to throw in some rookie and I didn't want any of that so I was looking for a different trade couldn't really find nothing I went to the trade finder to see what Toronto wanted for Terrence Davis they want Zach Collins and he isn't happy playing here so he's not really uh I wasn't trying to keep him with the low morale it sucks because he was part of that Kevin Love deal to begin the series but I feel like Terrence Davis has more upside and Zach Collins really wasn't doing nothing crazy for us so is what it is would we'll probably just look for a young center in the draft or something but uh, yeah, so we go Dylan Windler, uh, Bench Warmer, and Zach Collins, and we get both of those guys. And right here, I just redid the rotation real quick, as you can see right there. Pause it if you want. But that's basically going to be the lineup there. So we skip into uh, this. This is going to be the game of the, of the uh, episode. We're playing Sacramento Kings, nice solid young team right here. Um, De'Aaron Fox is a dog. Freaking Buddy Hill, it's nice. Uh, Harrison Barnes solid Bagley's nice and right here now you can see some of our stats so far into this uh, season as we are what 10 and 28 I believe so 38 games in uh, Monty Terry is doing pretty solid I uh, wish his I want to hopefully his uh, three-point uh, goes up a little more but this man he's a beast man it's really we as you see from the title he goes off in this game so He's getting his badge progression up. He's definitely getting a few more than I remember him having. So, yeah. Just want to see that three-point percentage go up. I believe that was 28% right there. And Sexton is our starting PG, but he's not really getting the buckets. not getting the dimes I want to see. Uh, shooting 44% from the field. It's just... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like he might not be coming back. I don't think I'm going to flip him. I think I'm going to let him go to free agency. And we'll see if we we'll go resign him for anything under 25. Um... If not, then I guess we're moving in with Darius Garland. But that's going to be the wave right now. Garland coming off the bench at six man, doing pretty solid 13 and 3, uh, 45% and 37 from 3. Joe Harris, yeah, he's underperformed as a starter. Uh, took him out of the starting lineup this episode and put Terrence Davis in. He's just not really doing much. So I'm deciding to have him just be a three point uh, specialist off the bench for us. And yeah, Kings here top in of the game. House. Golden one center. And guys, for the Kings, they've had some issues through the first half of the season and have slipped a few spots in the Western Conference standings from where we saw them last season. Into 10th place, as a matter of fact. One time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Barry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. 
And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. If you look at the match, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for Cleveland, they're still sorting out their roster, trying to find a way to unlock their full potential in a holding pattern, if you will. And that could change, though, at any moment. As you can see right there, we are ranked the worst team in the league right now. So, uh, you know, going for that number one pick again. Uh, right there, you see the starting lineup for today. They did put Buddy in. Uh, I saw on the screen before when we were previewing the matchup that he wasn't supposed to be starting, but he makes it into this one. So right here, we're going to start the game off. We win the tip, going pick and roll right away with Monty Terry. And look at this mismatch right here. They're going to get the switch. Monty Terry on De'Aaron Fox. That's just a mismatch. He's just going to back him down. Look at this. Mm. Yamming right on him, dude. That's a mismatch all day. That's why I like playing with Monty Terry, man, because if we get that switch every time, it's a wrap. It's just, it's over. It's an easy bucket almost every time or a hard foul. And we get the line shooting those free throws. And then right here, Sacramento's first possession, JaVale gets a big block. Sexton coming up, you know, slow it down, put a few moves on De'Aaron, trying to get blow by, comes in, hop step, and then he's going to yammy and poster some people. Is dunks over, what, like three people right here? One, two, not two people, tripping. But still, that's nice to see from Colin Sexton right there. Skip ahead, 7-5 right here. Sexton gets the switch or, uh, onto the big, as well as Terry on to De'Aaron, and he's going to have to foul. And I'll let you know right now, Sacramento was not adjusting well to that mismatch. They kept trying to switch and let Monty Terry be on a smaller guard, and we were cheesing it. I ain't going to lie. Right? It is what it is, though. I mean, they got to switch, right? Right here, Terrence Davis, nice little pump fake, froze defense real quick, dumping down to Monty Terry, coming down on the fast break right here. Nice little dump off. Big yams from our number one pick in the draft. It's, he's uh, definitely, we're learning to play better with him, so hopefully we keep going with it. Right here, uh, Harrison Barnes getting the switch on Monty Terry. He goes up right at JaVale McGee and gets it to go. You see right there real quick, uh, four for seven for the Kings, three for seven for us. Tie game though, so we'll see what, how we go. Looks like we're actually trying to get the offense going right here. Nice little wrap play right there. Terrence Davis open for three. Can't get it to go. That's a good shot though for him. We can live with that all day. Right here, Seti though, playing great defense right here. He's going to push it up to Terrence Davis. He's going to put the burners on, go up for it, and get a hard foul. And not one. Is That ball just rolls around the rim right there. Don't get the friendly roll. Is what it is. So we skip up. End of the first. We are up four right now. Three minutes to go. Is De'Aaron Fox going right at Larry Nance. Easy bucket. De'Aaron's a dog, man. Look at that. Averaging 20 and 8 at home with five boards as well. Just... Just a beast, man. If we had him, oh, it'd be nice. But we do got solid guards. Darius Garland right there does turn it over, though. Kevin Porter just going to get ran right at by uh, Bogdanovich right there. Easy, too. Right here, nice little wrap. Kevin Porter swinging over to Joe Harris. Pick and roll right here. Joe Harris wide open for three. The disrespect, and he's just going to brick that. As you can see, why they disrespected him right there. He is, I don't know, he's just not shooting as good as he was the season before. Uh, hopefully, we get him going. Uh, it's just unfortunate. I was hoping it would be a little better, but Hopefully we only got from two years, so hopefully you can do a little better Context and finding Larry Nash right here over close right side nice little easy jump shot for him Right here. We got what, nine minutes left going the second. It's close game right here is uh, Darius Garland can't get that pull up to go and he, here we go Garland trying to cook Kyle guy it looks like a little mismatch gonna pump can't really get it. He's going to dish over to Hawkins. Hawkins downloaded to Ed Davis. Lost standing around. Looks like, oh, here we go with some off-ball movement. Darius Garland putting the moves on Kyle Guy. Getting a nice little screen right there from Billy. That's a green. That's a bang. It's a bucket every time. Good shit right there. Is uh, Buddy Hill now pushing it up. Billy Hawkins going to go up. Send his shit. Get that out of here. Joe Harris pushing the break. He's going to lob it up over to Darius Garland. He's got a nice little WNBA layup right there. Nice little fillet. That was nice is uh we skip ahead look at this going back to what we do terry terry getting that switch on De'Aaron fox he only has six points at this point but right after that he's gonna start he's gonna start eating real soon so right here we got De'Aaron fox putting the burners on nice little easy lay money terry with the late help a little too late to get it and we got i believe it was eight uh leaps that lead uh changes in this quarter in this game so far uh about halfway through the second, I believe. He's going to get a big yam right there. Another poster for him. It's just what he does. It's just too easy for him. 
But uh, yeah, this game was close all the way. Look at JaVale, who almost absolutely caught body of Monty Terry. Nice little fade. He's at 11, make that 13 points now as he is just going crazy now. He's heating up and he's doing great, man. Right here. I see Sexton trying to press. That's very bad. And De'Aaron just going to take off on that all day. That's just an easy bucket for him. Uh, not smart defense right there. You see Monty Terry was 17. Now he's cooking, man. He's just going to get a nice little blow by on the break. Make that 19 points now. Is He's gone all his points in the paint. Only a couple from the outside and a few with the line. Right here, look at this lob. Sheesh. Look at that. Look at that. That boy get up 6'9", elevate like that. That's crazy. Ah, oh, man. He's, he's fun to play with. I'm not going to lie. So uh, we got an eight-point lead. We pushed it up a little bit. Garland coming down. He's going to go up, pass out of it, and he's going to get that oop over to Larry Nance. Mid shot, going up for the layup, passing out of it for a lob. That's a beautiful play right there. And we're going to get into the half. It is 56-48. Uh, field goal percentage pretty close. Um, as you see right there, you can pause it if you want to look at the stats again. But, uh, yeah, basically we're doing better than them. I'll bring them. I believe we had a few more steals as well. Is uh, we are cooking as you see right there 58% from the field 48 for the Kings We're just we really caught fire in that second quarter. So right here. We got uh, De'Aaron Fox trying to cook Colin Sexton nice little help right there by Terry But good IQ right there by De'Aaron to dump it down to Bagley easy two right there for them Right here. I believe I don't know who that was, but try to go with JaVale can't do that Sexton gonna throw a deep lob from the hash nice little 360 oop right there from Monty Terry or 180 really but Still look nice. Right here, Barnes is going to hit the step back on Joe Harris. That's a mismatch on defense every time. That's uh, one of the downsides to play with him. It can be a little tough uh, defensively. You see here Sexton's last 10 games. He's been cooking, man. He's just trying to play for that contract. Like I said, he wants about $30 million right now. And uh, he's really going to have to step it up if uh, he's going to get that. Because I'm not trying to pay him no $30 mil. But right here, look at that nice little bounce pass right there from De'Aaron. Unfortunately, they can't convert on it. We got a 20-point lead now by the end of the third. We really just blew this lead wide open. Uh, like I said, we kept cheesing that Monty Terry. They wouldn't, they wouldn't adjust. I don't know what the AI was doing. Uh, it was just an easy bucket every time, so we just stuck with it. Right here, we got about two minutes left to go in the third. Nice defense right there from Kevin Porter. He gonna push that up to Darius Garland. Garland run the break, gonna go all the way around, go right at De'Aaron, misses the layup, unfortunately. That was a pretty good move, he just couldn't convert. So now De'Aaron's pushing it over to Bogdanovich for three. He can't get the old bail on the board with 22 ports at this point and 10 points. He already had his double-double, he was eating. Is we try to go lob right there, Larry Nance, Bogdanovich with the block. Now McGee's gonna steal the ball. He's gonna throw it over to Kevin Porter and look at this dime. Ooh. Mm. That's beautiful. That was beautiful. Mm. We were just getting some lobs off this game, man. That were real nice. We got we got some people who catch it, like Monty Terry, JaVale, Larry Nance. Like, look at this. Take over. They got to do the hard foul. It was over. It was over. Let's just let you know. We won that game. It was easy. Um, we actually showed up this game. After the last game with the Pels, we weren't looking too great. Weren't, wasn't looking too hot, but uh, we turned it around right there. Here's the box score for you. Uh, trying to get the next episode out as soon as possible. Is, uh, if you enjoy the series, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Put those post notes on them. Be uploading a little more. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the series a lot. This one's uh, going pretty good for us as well. So really want to rebuild these calves, see if we can get this to work. As, uh, we got a few more gameplay episodes uh, in this season, and we'll get to the offseason one more time. And after that, I'm hoping we can compete for that playoff spot. So uh, stay tuned. Let's see who we can find, and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.